Let's look at a key parameter in data frames called index. By default, it's an incremental number that's used as reference for a row. However, we can change the index to a value or parameter that is more meaningful in the context of a data frame, especially when it's a time series data frame. For example, when looking at historical value of stock price, it makes more sense to use date timestamps as the index that can help us in analyzing data with reference to a specific time frame. Let's load a new data set of Bitcoin price into our notebook. We will use the read CSV function with the file path to our Bitcoin data set. Store it to variable BTC. Let's examine the data frame using head function. Here you can see the stock details of BTC with date, stock high, stock low, stock opening, stock closing, volume, and market capitalization. Let's use the info method to look at the data types of the BTC data frame. Here you can see that by default the date field is imported as an object which normally happens during data loading in Pandas. In order to use this field, let's change it to date time field using Pandas date time method. And close the date field with function arguments and write errors equals course. The last argument is used to cater for invalid entries. You can find the details about this function on Pandas documentation website that will be shared in video description. Now let's recheck the data types of BTC. Perfect. Now you see the date field is changed to date time instead of object. Here on we can use this field for data manipulation and further analysis. Now let's extract date from this date time field. Call this new column record date. We can extract the date from the date time field using a very useful extension called DT followed by date argument. Great. Let's have a look at data frame again. You will see an additional column of record date at the end of data frame having just the date. It's a very useful routine when you wish to extract date from date time field. Now let's address the indexing issue, which is an incremental counter at the start of data frame. To look at the problem, let's plot the stock high value using plot function. You will see a line graph. However, you will see an incremental set of integer values on x-axis. This doesn't make much sense in time series analysis. For example, the values of 1,500 or 2,000 on x-axis indicate what? These incremental values are actually the default index values from 0 to 2,999 that can be seen using head and tail methods. But how to get rid of them in our line graph? Let's try changing the index of our data frame using setIndex function. We will set the record date as our new index. Use in place equals true in function arguments to make changes in the actual data set. Now let's run the head method again. Perfect. Now you can see the record date in bold font replacing the default incremental index. Let's plot the Bitcoin high values again using plot function. Now we have a nice looking line chart with X axis marked with date field. We can now see that the line chart is the stock price trend from 2013 till 2021. That's how easy it is to visualize the data using pandas. In coming lectures, we will dive deep into data aggregation and filtering while making some stunning visuals. And as usual, you can find the Bitcoin dataset in video description.